What is civilization? I don't know. Look at the cow's eye. What on earth is going on? What is the meaning of this half-naked woman suckling a baby? One can see that she must once have been a beauty. What business have those ridiculous monstrosities, that misshapen shapeliness and shapely misshapenness, those unclean monkeys, those fierce lions, those monstrous centaurs, those semi-human beings? The Northmen were on the move. <coughs> But in the middle of the 7th century, there appeared from the south a new agent of destruction, Islam. Like the Irish tinkers of today, they preferred drifting as the mood took them. They preferred to live in prefabs and to let the old places fall down. The Celts haven't changed much. Purely pagan. I remember H.G. Wells, who was a kind of 20th century Voltaire, saying that he daren't drive a car in France because the temptation to run over a priest would be too strong for him. Look at this charming donkey. No, I have never made ha-ha. Telescopes really look like something out of a ballet. One can't see through them at all, at least I can't. What about this little clavicle? Isn't it enchanting? Better to look at than to listen to, I'm afraid. Well, it is easy to work. Roll it in like that. Take this arm. Pull as hard as you can. Very hard. How easy they are to operate. You would have thought that anyone could have thought of it, like the wheel. And what about this diptych dial? Oh, one can't imagine a prettier bibolo. And yet it was genuinely scientific, I suppose. This bronze pine cone, and it really is a big pine cone. What a lion he looks compared to the donkeys of the papal secretariat. What a willful, independent head. Like a willful, intelligent racehorse. Only he had a, a small, squeaky voice and a walrus moustache instead of the beard. He can sing with, surprisingly enough, a sweet tenor voice. At this point, I reveal myself in my true colours as a stick in the mud. And what is that I hear? That note of urgency, of indignation, of spiritual hunger. Yes, it's Beethoven. It's the sound of European man once more reaching for something beyond his grasp. We must leave this trim, finite room and go to confront the infinite.